Parts of Georgia also dealing with widespread flooding tonight. This is video from Whitfield County. It shows where rushing water has pooled, creating road hazards for really almost everyone. CBS 46's Ayanna Crystal continues our team coverage from Dalton. Sean, I spoke with Public Works and they told me they got more than six inches of rain in 11 hours, causing major flooding here in Dalton. Crews have been busy all day with property damage, trees downed, and even landslides. Now, there are still streets closed, including Underwood Street here. And it's all because this creek got so high that the water spilled over into the road, flooding all of the cars up and down this street. Now, Dalton Public Works said this is the worst rain they've seen in at least 10 years. Mill Creek reached a level at almost 15 feet, which is four feet above the flood stage, causing flooding early morning in Dalton. Crews had to rescue people as they were attempting to drive through the floodwaters on Willow Day Road. K&T Tank Wash off of Willendale Road had nearly three feet of water inside, and the owner, Tiffany Britt, said she was shocked by how much water was inside of her essential business because this area typically doesn't flood. They don't have flood insurance. So her family spent hours trying to get all of the water out. It's like this feeling of sickness that comes over you that um, Mother Nature has just thrown up <laughs> in your building. And that's what it looked like. Um, refrigerators over, turned over, boxes just soaking wet. Um, uh, one of our, our dumpster was in the creek by the railroad trestle and we've got to get it out with a crane. So it's, it's just, it's not quite apocalyptic, but it's horrible. Horrible indeed. Now Dalton Fire told me that they had to rescue at least eight people from their cars from going into those floodwaters. And we have seen people driving up and down this road, even though the road is closed. So if you see roads are closed with those barricades up, don't even test it and drive through. We're live in Dalton, Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.